to guys in the front running for this show. Yeah. Um, and listen, I'm in the States. You guys are hidden over in the UK. You, you don't see, you only see your British guys there. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's really hard. I mean, Roly and Brandon look to be the front runners for the show. Dexter Jackson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think anyone can kind of crack that um, William Bonnick's right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think there could be some surprises in there too. Like who? Man, I, I, I have on. a good feeling about Steve Kukolo this year, actually. Yeah. Everyone's, yeah, a few people have said that. We had Steve Kukolo on the show a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think he could really uh, could turn it up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, listen, you, you, your British guys are coming strong, too. I mean, between Nathan and, and Luke, I mean, those guys have a lot of potential to be in the top places, too. I mean, Cedric's a huge question mark, right? Yes. We don't yeah. know what Cedric's going to show up like. Uh, but this is a show that he could walk in and win no problem. But listen, we've seen Dexter. He looks great. We know he's going to come in sharp. Um, we've seen Brandon and Roley posting pictures, but you know that doesn't mean much. Yeah. Uh, it's really hard to predict who the top one is, but I would I would have to stay between three guys, and that's Brandon, uh, Roley, and Dexter Jackson. So – Going back to what you, going back what what you said about Cedric, do you think Cedric, if he really, really, really nailed it, do you think he could just come in and do what Ronnie did in ninety seven to ninety eight and just like go from ninth place to first place? Yeah, I think he can do it. The only reason I don't think he's going to be in the front running that close, guys, is because he kind of uh, he kind of got thrown in at the last minute. He wasn't sure, and, and I talked about this on another uh, interview. It takes a year of motivation, focus. Uh, you have to have your mind set when you train for the Mr. Olympia. And I don't think that coming in and getting a special invitation last minute when you weren't sure if you were going to get in, mm -hmm. he's going to be prepared enough to do that. So I, would, I wouldn't count him in the top three uh, or four, to be honest. But surely if he was in striking distance anyway, and then he gets that special invite, which kind of says, okay, we think you're good enough to do something here. Do you think that he could really, like, I mean, what was it, five weeks out he got the first, what? How often, when did he get the special invite? Five weeks out? Remember we talked out with Dennis and Bob, and I said, mindset? And when Jay says the same thing, then it's, yeah. it's about the yeah, mindset. I'm saying, could he get that mindset if he got that special invite and go, right, I'm really going to ramp it up and I'm going to nail it? Because it's only in the last couple of weeks it kind of, Falls apart. With Cedric, anything is possible. You know, he do, has to. What do you think, so. Jay? Um, you, you can't get that focus unless you're so far out and you're right, really prepared. Right. And listen, you can talk to Bob or or uh, Dennis or whoever these people. But listen, you're talking to a guy that's been there, and done it. Yeah, yeah. Several yeah. times. I mean, you could ask Phil Heath the same thing. I mean, Phil Heath. We question why he's not going to jump in last minute and just come collect his check because mm. that has his name written all over it. But Listen, you know, it's a lot of mental preparation. It's not just physical. And we know Phil has the physical physique to do it. Yeah. Um, Phil, Phil, at a, Phil, not even at 100%, I feel, could win this competition. But he's, you know, he's going to be mentally prepared. He's not going to jump in last minute. He's definitely not going to jump in a show where he feels that the stiffest competition is not there. Phil's a, he's a challenger, right? He's a guy that he focuses on, he hones in on everyone thinking they can beat him. And he just demolishes anyone that stands in his way. So there's no reason Phil's going to go in and win a Olympia that's kind of like up for grabs based on the champion being sat out from last year. Yeah. Um, he wants that battle against Sean Roden again and, and the best, the best of the best.